Jimmy Thang from MaximumPC.com here. We're here at Kingston's booth at uh, CES, and I'm speaking with uh, Mike. Mike Money from Kingston, yep, uh, Senior Technology Manager, showing off uh, a couple of our new products. Uh, one would be the 10th anniversary of our HyperX gaming memory product line uh, with the new heat spreader. We have these in dual and quad channel kits, up to 32 gigs and up to 2400 megahertz, and they support XMP profiles. Uh, the other cool thing we're talking about is the world's largest USB flash drive. That would be our, Hi our HyperX Predator 1 terabyte drive. Uh, this will be out in a couple months, and um, it's basically like an SSD all crammed inside a USB flash drive. USB 3.0 base, reads and writes on that would be about 240 and uh, uh, 160. And then we also have our third generation Data Traveler Ultimate 3.0. We have those in 32 and 64 gigs. Uh, performance on those is about 150 on the reads and about 70 on the writes. We're also uh, talking about our new solid state drive, the V300 series. Uh, that's our value entry level drive, and uh, that uh, features a customized Sandforce uh, LSI controller, 2281. Uh, that does uh, 450 megabytes per second on the reads and writes. Capacities on that drive are 60, 120, and 240. Cool, and can you kind of walk us through uh, the release date and, and the pricing on those items? Uh, pricing on those items. Um, you'll be able to check with your authorized Kingston dealer for pricing. Um, what I can tell you is that uh, uh, pricing won't appear on the one terabyte drive for a couple months, but in a couple weeks you'll find the 512 version of the Predator. Uh, you can find it on, I think, like Amazon.com and kind of get an idea of what they'll go for. And can you talk about the casing? It looks pretty heavy duty. Is it? Uh, it's yeah, it's a metal casing, uh, pretty solid. Uh, be able to withstand it if you dropped it or uh, or tried or you know ran it through a washer or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we designed it with a uh, metallic casing so that it have a, a little bit more um, wearability, right? All right. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much.